hey guys welcome to this video in this video i will be talking about specifically aesthetic function which is available in ggplot2 and i will also talk about uh, how you can uh, plot scatter plot by the use of ggplot2 so let's get started so this is the content uh, we will do first we observe the data set and we do bivariate analysis then after that i will explain the r code and all these things i will show you demo in the r studio so what you get from this video we you are able to get uh, uh, what is the meaning of uh, aesthetic and you you are also able to plot the scatter plot using ggplot2 this is the grammar of graphics which is explained in my previous video first what we do we give uh, data to the function then we do aesthetic aesthetic means we coordinate system coordinate system x axis we define and define y axis and uh, uh, there is other things aesthetic which i explained in this video then after that what we do we do geometric geometric means graph like uh, point graph box bar, bar graph bar graph box plot there are lots of graph available in the ggplot2 you can uh, use them then after that we do labels labels is very easy it's just a title title name then after that uh, statistics you can do theme facet which is explained in my coming video first we see what is the scatter graph a scatter graph is looking like a point and it is used for bivariate analysis bivariate analysis means doing a relationship between uh, understanding the relationship between two variable now let us suppose that there is a rahul and he is a data analyst analyst and he has to make a dashboard for his employer for business deal and the, what is the time bounding is five days so he works in a transport company he observed two uh, variable one is dcpl and hwi so dcpl means engine displacement in liters it just nothing is it's just a engine size one liter two liter if you drive the car you know about that and hwy is a fuel efficiency in the highway fuel efficiency means with less fuel how much you get performance performance means speed and mileage this is very normal things uh, for us that if uh, think uh, if the engine size is bigger then you get speed but it needs also more fuel and for fuel you need money for example as you can see uh, lamborghini has a 6.5 liter engine and you get speed very fast but uh, but it consume lots of fuel in the right hand side you can see that uh, there are lots of uh, this is the very normal uh, normal car you can see and it has engine 2.5 liter so we normally prefer the balance between them we want performance as well as fuel efficiency so this is the very simple command i this command i explained in my previous video also so i don't want to explain in this video so when you run this command what happened that it uh, it looked like this so as you can see that there is a negative relations relationship between them as you can see if the engine size is large then you get a uh, very less fuel efficiency if the engine size is very small uh, then more fuel efficiency so as expected this is very obvious things you know after some time he confused uh, he is confused by the see this point so you will also get confused what uh, these points mean so after some time he thought oh it is a point which shows a car which have a large engine as well as fuel efficiency think uh, you also anybody can confused like that so if you so this is the inverse relationship between and there is a separate point you can see that in the graph so what he thought uh, like me i am confused maybe my employer also will confuse in the front of shareholders and investor and maybe not able to explain it in the front of shareholders and uh, due to this business deal will cancel then my employer is frustrating on me and 
this this thought is coming in his mind and he don't want this now the problem is what how to explain this point uh, in a graphical way so that every person can understand easily this problem is solved you can solve by the aesthetic function which is available in ggplot2 now the question is arise how you will understand after a few minutes before moving forward uh, let's take a alternative ways to tackle this problem so suppose you can solve this problem by analysis three column one by one scrolling down with your mouse but uh, think it takes lots of time and rahul have only the five days so you can't do like that so there is another uh, method you can follow you can make a separate graph to see the relation but uh, think it you need you required more coding and more space to show in the presentation software so this problem is solved by the aesthetic function which is available in uh, ggplot2 and you can explain this point in a very easy way it required only one graph i talked very much about aesthetic now what is the meaning of aesthetic aesthetic means visual properties of any object visual means here uh, you can observe uh, the world with your eyes so that is called visual so uh, keeps one thing in your mind everything in this universe is information and information information means comparison so there are lots of uh, visual properties you can find in your daily life but i can i consider only three things here shape color and size and there are lots of other things you can you can imagine he wrote, read of uh, many blogs in the internet and he didn't get a answer of his question what is the meaning of aesthetic so after getting tired what he do he getting nap and he was dreaming about his solution now what will happen in his brain i will explain to you guys he looked the alien in his dream and uh, between the city and he is very excited to share this information to the public and he met somebody a uh, man and uh, rahul says hey i looked a alien in our city so he replied that okay so if you noticed here uh, think uh, in replace of somebody in right hand side you 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 place in in it what you thinking uh, random images of alien uh, uh, coming in your mind okay so but rahul want to share this same information to the what he exactly looked in in that time he the same information he want to convey this to this man so how now what he do he using a visual properties like shape in this uh, slide to share the information who he observed object so now he using a visual property shape now he is saying that hi hey i look a alien his head shape is same as dog and his spaceship is spaceship shape same as circle now what is what is coming in his stranger man mind he can now visualize it better way so slowly slowly by doing that uh, now he uh, what uh, now you uh, share the information by use the one visual properties here it is safe now to go more detail on it rahul what he do he add color on it so now he is saying that hey i look a alien his head shape is same as dog and the color is light brown so similarly he you he said spaceship also now you can visualize that his head is now light brown and the alien the spaceship is the color is uh, black so by doing like that and so on after some time uh, finally uh, the stranger man got understood and finally he he thank you to say thank you to rahul hey now i am understood what you are trying to say to me 
like that you can use the web um, uh, there are lots of visual properties like shape color and uh, you can use to convey your information in to the public so finally he he woke up and is returned to his work and start doing data analysis so now what uh, uh, he he doing he use uh, visual properties uh, first uh, what he use a uh, color so uh, as you can see there is a class of car tiny car medium car big car so for tiny car he use a color sim color green for medium car to convey the medium car he uses a color blue to convey the big big car he use a red color so so if you plot these things in your r study it look like this and i will explain you this graph in in my after a few minute so now uh, he can also use the shape visual properties he can uh, he can say that hey this is the square shape and square shape refers to the tiny car hey is the it is a triangle and it refers to the medium car hey it is a circle and it refers to the big car like that you can use a visual uh, properties of object to convey your information after that what uh, he do he uses a he, he uses a another visual properties like size so as you can see that the smallest uh, point represent a tiny car and the biggest point represent a big car like that you can use lots of visual properties to convey your information and the object here what point so we want to convert uh, this shape into a visual way to convey the information uh, what is the information we want to convey the class of car these things i will show you in our studio so now rahul is happy and he solved his problem one things keep you in your mind use color for sharing categorical data like type of car sex blood group and use size to convey the discrete number data like weight height you can use shape for sharing the categorical data uh, i do i personally don't recommend it because ggplot has only a six phase and if the class is only six or less than six you can use shape in that scenario now i will give you the demo in the r studio i opened the r studio i am activating the tidyverse library so library is activated now i am uploading a df data frame uh, it is built in in tidyverse uh, library you can directly access it now i am creating a, a scatter plot by running it so as you can see that this is the scatter plot you got after that now what i am uh, uh, i use a visual properties like color to convey the class okay i am i explained this in my slide so when i am run it so as you got a beautiful graph so as you can see that this is a color uh, is look a uh, light red and as you can see that two seater so two seater car is available you can find in sports or there are very fashionable car which is a two seater so two you can now consider that two seater car has a higher fuel efficiency with a uh, high uh, high engine size so what is about compact size you can uh, visualize like that this is very easy the, this is the green green one is what yeah so mid size uh, car is also have a fuel efficiency as well as a higher a large engine size like that you can uh, analyze the data now i am using uh, another things shape so i don't recommend it but i will show you how it look so as you can see that uh, he ggplot has only a six six shape to show 1 2 3 4 5 6 so so now i am what 
I am using another visual properties like size. So you can see that class is a categorical data and I told you that a size you can use size if better is you can use for sharing the discrete numerical data so if you run this uh, it look like not so good so use size for sharing your uh, discrete numerical data you can go detail uh, for si now I am mixing a size plus color to go more detail as I explained you that in my slide these things you can also do that in ggplot2 when I run this uh, you will get a, a beautiful graph and like Rahul you can solve this problem by aesthetic in your daily life I hope you understand this video. Thank you very much.